Look at this night for the Democrats. Four out of five for Hillary Clinton. Though she was not asked and did not respond, a la Donald Trump, I am the presumptive nominee. As Rachel and I have been pointing out tonight, the math is on her side. Uh, there's more than a path uh, for her. Steve Kornacki, who does this sort of thing for a living, has uh, the path and all of it for Hillary Clinton. Steve? Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at the Democratic delegate race. Again, the name of the game here, Pledge Delegates. We'll forget about the superdelegates. This was all about can Bernie Sanders catch her during the primary season in the Pledge Delegate count. We came into tonight, he was down about 240. His campaign needs to make up ground wherever it can. Good news for Bernie Sanders. He won Rhode Island tonight. He makes up some ground. Bad news. Hillary Clinton won Delaware. Completely won wipes out the gains he made in uh, Rhode Island. What does that leave? It leaves three states that Hillary Clinton's won. Connecticut's a nail-biter. Let's say she's going to add, this is a rough guess, maybe three delegates from that by winning that state. Pennsylvania, the county's a little slow right here. The margins we're seeing, though, this could be 15, this could be 20 more delegates, a gain of 20 more delegates for Hillary Clinton. Maryland, an absolute monster of a victory for Hillary Clinton tonight. She absolutely destroyed Sanders in this state. Probably going to net about 30 coming out of there. So you started the night with Bernie Sanders facing very difficult odds. A gap of about 240 in the pledge delegates. You had all these states vote tonight. And what's going to happen? I'd say conservatively, uh, she is going to be leading by 280 or more when this night finishes. All these states now off the board, fewer opportunities for Sanders going forward. Really, there just is no path at this point short of just a complete, total change in this race. It's something totally unforeseen. That's the level we're at when you're seeing numbers like this. Steve Karnacki, thank you. And we do have a statement from the Sanders campaign specifically on what's going on tonight, which I think reflects a little bit of that stark truth that you just laid out there. Uh, congratulating Secretary Clinton. Quote, the people in every state in this country should have the right to determine who they want as president and what the agenda of the Democratic Party should be. That's why we are in this race until the last vote is cast. That's why this campaign is going to the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia with as many delegates as possible to fight for a progressive party platform that calls for a $15 an hour minimum wage, an end to our disastrous trade policies, Medicare for all healthcare system, breaking up Wall Street financial institutions, ending fracking in our country, making public colleges and universities tuition free, and passing a carbon tax so we can effectively address the planetary crisis of climate change. The Sanders campaign, again, committing to not drop out, to stay in the race until the end, but now saying that the reason they will go to the convention is to fight for the platform, no longer explicitly making that case that they will win at the convention by persuading superdelegates to support Senator Sanders. And I believe uh, it's fair to say, and I'm sure a lot of people will be mad at me for saying this, but I believe with that statement, it is fair to say that this Democratic contest is effectively over, even though there will be two people <coughs> remaining in every contest between now and June 14th in Washington, D.C. This is the Sanders campaign saying they do not have a plan that is a way to win this nomination. They'll keep fighting, but their goal is something different. Let's kick that out to our friend Chuck Todd, who's in.